What's up, everybody? Uh, going live today at this time because I was out exercising. <clears throat> and I decided it might be cool to explore an old sawmill. Now, this sawmill is close to my house and it is still up and running. But before we explore the sawmill, let's go take a look at this old abandoned store. Uh, let me turn my camera around. Now this, here it is. Uh, now this store has been here for years. And I don't think we can get inside. I'm going to try, but I'm going to go around back first. Because there used to be a door out back. Um, the last time this place was running, it was a bakery, a cake bakery store. And before that, my grandma owned it. And it was a gas station. And in this gas station, there was also a place where all people changed oil in their cars and stuff like that. And I would come here as a child when I got home from school. And, uh, yeah, that's locked. And, uh, I would stay in the back and, uh, chew until my parents came and got me. Um, maybe we can... Turn a light on. Do y'all see anything in there? But yeah, that was, uh, this part of the room that you was looking in, that's where we used to watch TV. And, uh, stuff. And that part through the walkway right there, that's the main part of the store. That's where all the candy and food and deli section was and the far end where you seen that opening at that was the walk-in door and that's where my grandma's uh to the left of that is where my grandma's register and her countertop uh yeah so this is like walking distance from my house so and then back here it looks like just a bunch of stuff that's been thrown out I don't know where it came from. That looks like a building that fell. There's some tires. There's some more tires through them trees. I don't know if you can see it. But, uh, I wish everybody would come in and say hi. This live stream counts as a drawing. There's an old wheel. That looks old as hell. Look, guys. That's some, uh, clubs. That go in a car, maybe? I'm not too sure. I'm not all that smart when it comes to cars. Uh, 
That's an old ass rope. That rope's thick as hell. What you guys see? Y'all see anything cool in there? I want to get over that other side and feel that rope. I don't know if I can get over there though. See my shoes? I really don't think I can get over there in these shoes. Oh, oh shit. That. My friends, that is a CO2 fire extinguisher. That is cool. An old. See, this is old as hell. There's more tires. I have to come back when I've got the proper shoes on. Just take this shit out. If you guys would like for me to come back and get a little bit more into it, I will. I bet I can get in here. Uh, see, sniff that a little. I bet I can get in here, guys, with uh, a crowbar. <laughs> and I just bring a crowbar and a hammer. I can get in that bitch. If you guys would like to see me do that, let me know in the comments section. I'm short, so. Oh, they've still got the same counter that my grandma had. I can't see that great. Let's go around to the front. So, yeah, guys, my grandma. This was an old store. No, I take that back. That is not the same counter. That was my grandma. You can see there's a piece of paper or something in the floor right there. Broke the window right there. And there's a padlock on that door. And this door. That hole right there, or that board you see right there, that is where the oil well is. There's like a, I know you've been in these places where you've seen, um, I know you've been in these, uh, mechanics buildings and underneath the vehicle, there's like a oil well, there's like a dip or not a dip, but like a really big ditch, like dug out in the floor. Like I would say it's at least seven or eight feet deep. And that's, they drive the vehicles over top of it and they get down in there and that way they can work underneath the car and stuff. Underneath that slab of wood, that's what that is. I about fell in it when I was a kid. I would have broke every bone in my body if I'd have fell in it. But, uh, yeah, if y'all want to see me come back to this location and get in through the oil well building, I will do that. Uh, let me run across here. Um, now this sawmill is still up and running. Um, it is owned by Bumgarners in this area. We'll go ahead and flip this back around so y'all can see what's up. Um, okay, turn around. There you go. 
Uh, I wish there was actually people here watching, but there's not, so it'll be okay. Uh, yeah, this place is still up and running. And there's the cell phone tower. But yeah, guys, this place was here when I was a kid. The guys that used to work here would go across the store over there where we was just at. And, uh, they would buy snacks to eat and they would eat in the deli. And my grandma even had a punch board thing. And, uh, the way you play is you paid so much money to play and you punched on it and you could win uh different kind of coins and stuff and i'm not just talking about american coins i mean there was all kinds of coins okay so before we walk up there we're gonna walk back here and see what's back here that's an old building i have no idea what's even in that building i'm not even in the correct shoes today guys i was just out walking the edge of the road to get a little bit of exercise um i don't know if i can yeah i can't zoom it's got some old shit in that building. Um, I'll come back with the proper shoes, guys. If y'all want me to, if like I said, if y'all want want me to come back and dive deeper into these buildings, I will. And. Uh, do some more exploring in a while. I definitely will do that. Um, you just gotta let me know what y'all would like to see. Um, Sundays are going to be Storyteller Day. Storybook, Storyteller, whatever you want to call it. I am going to start reading books on Sundays and we will have discussions about them. I will not be doing it live. It'll just be like a little old video. I will put it out. Uh, on Sundays. What the fuck was that? I don't know if you guys heard that, but I did. I really hope it's just some kind of animal. Okay. Kind of freaked me out. Ugh, it's muddy. And I really came. In the wrong pair of shoes. They've got trailers for their big rigs here. Um, yeah, see, my parents' house is it? It's just right up that hill through yonder. It is really cold, guys. It is 45 degrees. And it's 4.30. So it's going to keep getting colder. When I get back to the house, I'm gonna, i got to put my turkey up. No, no, I'm a real turkey. i got a little blow-up turkey for Thanksgiving. And through there, some woods and stuff. Yeah, I'm going to have to come back here with proper shoe wear, guys. Oof. Because every little bitty rock I stand on, it makes my foot go the other way. Because I am just wearing some little, little slip-on shoes. I was not planning on doing this. And I was just planning on walking up and down the road. Get me a little bit of exercise. That is a really big rock. I mean, I've seen a bigger, but... That is a big old slab of car and creep. That's just a little hollowed out place down. What the hell do they do down there? Uh, I guess if somebody wanted to, they could hold some kind of crazy seance down there, I reckon. I mean, it looks like it's been... And that whole area down there is like a circular, hollowed out spot. And I can't get down there. 
I mean, it might not be used for anything like that now, but it looks like it might have been like back in the day. Used for some kind of craziness like that. I'm not too sure. I keep hearing something in the bushes right there. I don't know what it is. Oh, this up here is a big old mud mess. I'm about to turn around and go back. Up here are some old buildings. Old, old building. Yeah, I'm not going to go across that mud. But yeah, look. Can't tell these buildings are old up here. Like, I, I'm 34 years old. And this place has been here my whole life. That bucket right there, it hooks to a tractor. It's been there a while. All of this has been here a while. Now that building up there, it's been there for, it's, it's fairly newer than the rest of them. Or maybe that building's been there a while too, and it's just, they've just, you know, added some newer touch to it, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Oh. Uh, there we go. There's a bird talking to me, guys. So, yeah, I mean, like, if you guys want to see me come back, um, make sure you like this live stream and comment, and I will definitely come back. And, guys, make sure you've got your notification bells on. Because, whenever I go live, you'll get a notification about it. As long as you've got that notification bell turned on. If you ain't got that bell turned on, you're not going to know when I go live. And that's the reason why you're not, nobody's in my live streams. If you uh, turn that notification bell on, you'll know when I'm in my when I've got gone live because you'll get a notification about it. Um, I was I saw that white thing right there. I don't know what it is, and I'm not in the proper shoes. To be going to find out. I tell you what, guys. I had my phone out at work the other day because I was doing a uh, cash only for the registers because they had uh, shut the system down like they do every night. And uh, I had my phone laying on the bread box thing, or not the bread box, but the bag <laughs> holder, and. Uh, I was looking at it, and it was laying there, and I turned around to hand something out the window, and when I turned back around, sure enough, my phone was laying face down on that hard-ass concrete floor and cracked right across the front. I don't know if it's my actual screen that's cracked or if it's the tempered glass. I really hope it's the tempered glass. I want to know why these fools thought it would be a good idea to put this damn cell phone tower here in the middle of the damn sawmill. <sighs> Makes no damn sense. But whatever. And no, just because that damn cell phone tower is close to my house does not mean I get good damn signal. Hell no, it don't. Uh... 
I don't even know if it's a Verizon tower or an AT&T tower. But I know it ain't worth a damn. The only service that anybody can get at my house is AT&T. Uh, <laughs> Verizon doesn't work at my house. I'm like down in the hole. And you have to be at my aunt's house or at my mom and dad's house to get your phone to work if it's an at and if it's uh, anybody but at and t now if you're at and t you're good it'll work now here's another building guys um like i said i get on i will come back if y'all want me to right there looks like a good place to get up there But yeah, I'll get up in there, guys, when I come back. When I've got and uh, explore some more in there. Uh, if you guys want me to, uh, just make sure you like this live stream. And turn on your notification bells. If you don't turn on your notification bells, guys, you're screwed. There's a torn up glove looks like it's saying it's better days there's some more gloves maybe somebody lost their hands I hope not um some damn four before's the water hose Buckets, a mountain of four before's. I tell you what, I have bring my truck over here and just hot load up these damn four by fours, or any of this other fucking wood for that matter. Take my damn tag off my car. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just joking, guys. Don't listen to nothing I'm saying. But you know, I mean. That machine, I don't know what it's doing, but it's doing something and it sounds like liquid. And that green machine right there. But anyway. Well guys, I appreciate you watching the live stream. Remember, if... Ooh. Sorry. Remember if you want to see me come back to these two places the old sawmill or the gas station from hell remember this that is the gas station from hell if you want to see me go to the, to the gas station from hell or the old sawmill like this video comment subscribe and for heaven's sakes, turn on that notification bell, guys. I love you so much. Look forward to seeing you guys real soon. And give me kisses. <laughs>